Well, one of the most important decisions being made today was happening in Bloomfield Hills as voters had to make a choice and a raise for both options. Well, they were pretty good ones. The all important choice, the theme of their play area. As Nick Manasili reports tonight, teachers at Detroit Country Day found a way to make Election Day educational. There's already some unconventional but effective education inside Detroit Country Day School. But on this day, election day, we have our voting booth set up. The teachers are finding there's a lesson in that too. We need them to learn about the world around them. So this election has been talked about on the news, it's been on TV, their parents are probably talking about it at home. So we wanted to give them a sense of what does this mean to vote. So after the primaries, they narrowed down a long list of play area candidates. So today the big election is between an auto repair shop and a pet store an auto repair shop and a pet store. Every little one had to register to vote, got their ballot or block, and in the privacy of the voting booth, made their little squeaky voices heard. So the votes were cast to replace what is currently Pal's Mark at the grocery store. Is it going to be the pet shop? Is it going to be the auto shop? Let me just put it to you this way. The early indication polling numbers of a close vote we're just a little off. Which one had more? Pet shop. The pet shop. The pet shop <laughs> by a landslide. And I can't figure out if these proud voters are happy or sad with the results. But what they should be happy about is learning a key part of democracy. When they start saying, let's vote for strawberries or bananas in the grocery store, we know that they're taking in what we're teaching them. Now we just have to worry about the runoff election. What pets go in the store? Turtles. A turtle? Let's go in the store. Turtles. A turtle? Mm -hmm. So cool. And doggies. And doggies. In Bloomfield Hills, Nick Monticelli. Local 4.